Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and today I have a short little video for you to talk about an upcoming feature and a uh, open beta coming on down the road. And it's called uh, PLID, uh, PLID, which stands for Pilot Identification, which is a new feature coming for the situational awareness display. And right now I'm in the radar page, uh, you know, standard um, PPLIs and some unknown contacts out there. Let's go to the uh, SA page. You know, bring it out to a scale of. 80 and same, seeing the same thing here again. So the really uh, cool thing about PLID is that it allows you to manually set the top of the half foo for a non-PPLI contact. So obviously the bottom half is done by donor. Uh, the top half is, you know, right now it's based on what your sensors are telling you. But with PLID you can actually manually change it. So for example, uh, this contact uh, ranked here uh, number one. I put my TDC over it and I have my PLID option. I can go ahead and press uh, push button two. And now I have the ability to send it to a friend, a hostile, or keep it as a known. But given I have the bottom uh, semicircle uh, uh, from the donor indicating it's friendly, I'll go ahead and set this to friendly as well. And now we have it as a complete circle from the contact. Now let's take a look at one of the hostiles. So I'll put the uh, TDC over this hostile, well, uh, donor registered hostile, and I got my uh, PLID option, I'll hit it, and I'll hit hostile, and now it sets the top half to hostile as well, and it turns into a red triangle. So it's pretty straightforward uh, to use. So then the question is, when would you use something like this? Well, um, probably two different reasons. Uh, the first is, uh, let's say you have a donor uh, that sets a target as a hostile out there, but for one reason or other, you can't get an NCTR print or an IFF, so you can't get that two stage. But you have pretty high confidence that it is a bad guy, so you could use PLID to go ahead and automatically set him to a hostile in that manner. Uh, second uh, potential scenario is, uh, let's say you have a radar on contact that just took off or started from a hostile airfield and ascending from that. Well, in all chances, that probably is a hostile aircraft, uh, in which case you could essentially bypass um, NCTR print and a IFF and go ahead and label the guy a hostile as well to send that out over the data link. So it's a pretty handy function, and I hope you enjoy it uh, for an upcoming open beta. Thanks.